What's going on guys? It's Nick with the Card Brothers here. Here we got the first place winner of the uh, Hollywood Florida Regional. Look at that beautiful thing. Uh, what's your name and what'd you play? Uh, uh, my name is Ty Weathers. Um, I play in the good old math bank, man. Uh, it's still great. Circular, free my boy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, shout outs before I start. Shout out to uh, everybody from, from Balance, you know, uh, helping me, you know, play and practice and everything. Um, shout outs especially to uh, Valen, who uh, Valen. got me on a little bit of sauce, you know, just a little bit of sauce today. Uh, we literally revamped the entire deck last night. Not the entire deck, but like I took out a bunch of shit and, and we changed a lot. So um, I'll get right into it, but awesome, it's uh, different from what I've been playing so far. So Let's get uh, right we'll into start it. with the main deck. Uh, we'll go with the Mathmic cards, obviously the one circular. This card is not okay. Um, literally just, just yeah. Um, three diameter, uh, two sigma, two subtraction, two addition. Um, all this is pretty standard, you know, we're, we're just going with regular stuff. Some people like one sigma, I think two is just way better, you can small roll it off. Um, it, every time I play one, I hate it, so, you know, sticking with two. Um, next we got some uh, generic extenders, uh, we got our parallel exceed. This card is just insane. Um, Literally every time I resolve this card, I win a game. So, uh, you know, um, two Sakitama. Um, I think the Spirit Engine is much, much better than uh, anything else that Mavic can play because this enables you to play the Guska. Um, it's an extra level four. It doesn't lose the Droll. It's still level four extender. I don't really care that it's not a Cyburns because most of the time you're just going to throw it into your Allen version anyway. Um, just a great card. Uh, small World Bridge. It's good stuff. Um, Got my searchers, three small world, three sign up mining. Um, self explanatory. Just extra copies of circular. These cards just re add circular to your hand, make your opponent cry. Um, next up, Mavic Spells and Traps. Essential. Only way the deck functions. Super Factorial is just the best card. <laughs> it's the best. There's nothing, there's nothing about it. Um, equation, even, is just ridiculous. I actually, the attack game from Equation mattered today. Um, it, it won me a game against Blue in, game, in round one, so pretty sick. Um, now we're getting to the sauce. This is what Valen had me playing. Um, playing two microcoder, one conflict. Um, basically just three copies of conflict to play. Uh, to be quite honest, I resolved this card once today, and it did not matter that I resolved it. Like, <laughs> I like the fact that I resolved it won me the game, but nobody ever played a card into this. Everybody knew that I had it set, and basically just said, well, shit. Um, to be quite honest, it lost me three games, won me two, I think. Um, I think in the future I'd probably side this, but uh, still crazy. Microcoder is a crazy card. Being able to link summon from hand still goes nuts. Um, it's good, just good stuff. Um, now for the non engine cards uh, hand traps, we go uh, three Ash, three Bell, uh, three Baylor, uh, three Imper, you know. Just getting these out. Um, 12 hand traps. Uh, you know, I felt like it was pretty good. I saw a good ratio of hand traps today. Um, I think that if I had the choice, I would switch these out for a little bit more from what I got on the side. But, you know, this worked out pretty well. How come um, no uh, main deck Droll? Uh, honestly, the more I've been testing, Droll and Nib have kind of sat dead in my hand a lot. Um, main deck Droll with decks like Pearly, like, it did do really well in rounds six and seven against Burnley, but I didn't miss him, uh, honestly. I, I didn't have, I don't think I had a single game today where I wished I had Nib. Uh, almost the same thing with Droll. I didn't really have, I maybe had two games where I just kind of scooped it up because they made an unkillable board, but for the most part, the rest of them were able to, to stop things. Three Veiler actually, honestly, did me really well today. Um, just because that card, you know, I can draw multiple of them off of, off of each one and, and do well with it. Um, yeah, I just didn't think they were that needed. I think they're not very impactful into a lot of the meta right now. Um, and, you know, I mean, I did see a lot of road today, but against Burley, I didn't really miss them compared to my normal hand traps. And, you know, this is what it is, I guess. Um, last bit of non-engine, uh, I'm playing two Book of Moon, uh, one called by for D-Shifter, and one Arch Phoenix Centric. Um, Eccentric is very, very vital. It's I small world this away almost all the time, but uh, there was one game against the Dagger Soul where I drew it and I scaled it and popped the spell trap. Um, this card is is 
like uncuttable, straight up. It is the best small world bridge that you can possibly have in this deck. Um, and it just outs your floodgates. You don't lose to TC Boo with this in your deck. You don't lose to, you know, skill drain. You don't lose to stupid shit, you know. Um, so it's really, it's really mandatory to have because it just, it, it keeps the whole deck together. You can bridge any hand trap into circular. Um, yeah, it's just inc incredible. And then Call by is probably the best card in the game. Double Book of Moon. Uh, also, shout out to Hobby for letting me borrow the second uh, Book of Moon. But uh, this card, I mean, I'd probably keep it in. I, I, eh, I, it might be worth putting in the side. It helped a little bit. It's extra interruption going first, but I'm still undecided. If you see a lot of, if you see a lot of meta, it's it's really good. But like, depending on where you're at. Uh, moving on to the extra deck. Uh, start off with our uh, Xyz monsters. Um, Alan Bershin, two of Alan Bershin, one Laplacian. Uh, obviously, Math Mike Xyz, gotta play them. Alan Bershin's nuts. Laplacian's crazy. Um, one Baguska is enabled by the Spirit Package. Um, I didn't actually go into it today at all. Uh, there were times where I wish I could have. Uh, but, like, honestly, I think it's definitely worth the, the extra deck slot just because against, like, Brandon Despia, um, you summon this, you can do your entire combo under Baguska because they're all they're all links, and uh, people just cry. It's you know it's a really really good card, um, and against certain decks, it just absolutely wins in the game. So you know, gotta be there. Um, now the links, everything else is a link. So. Uh, my link ones, uh, Link Spider, Almirage, Link Rebo. Um Link Spider is specifically for Nibiru, but. These guys pretty much just facilitate being able to use Parallel Exceed. Uh, kind of all they do. Lingaribo, sometimes I can do full combo under Lingaribo and an, uh, Alan Bresham with a gate. So it's very nice, but realistically, he summons Parallel Exceed. That's kind of it. Uh, Link 2s. I got a lot of Link 2s in here. We're playing one Cyber's Wicked, uh, one Update Jammer, one Crystal Heart uh, for Nibiru, uh, two Splash Page. Um, I loved the two splash page today. So the, uh, the changes we made to the deck last night were taking out the firewall package and putting in the link spider, the wicked, and the second splash page. Second splash page I think came up four or five times today. Um, wicked I made almost every game. Uh, just being able to draw two with heat soul plus add a diameter to your hand and have splash page. It's just unreal. You know, you're you're. You're not ever not getting heat soul or keeping it on board because you're always going to be able to either have heat soul or transcode heat soul or something. And drawing two is is really 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 good. Um, Wicked is crazy. Sometimes you can do combo under it and not be able to be destroyed. It helps against like DS. Um, it's 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 crazy, crazy card, insane. And then update jammer is update jammer. <laughs> Y'all know it. Y'all love him. We all, we all love this guy, okay? Best card. Uh, we got Link 3's, um, Heat Soul, Transcode, um, self-explanatory, Heat Soul was, is, Heat Soul's boss monster of the deck, to be quite honest, you know? Um, means I don't lose evenly, I got evenly twice today, did not care a single bit. Um, we just don't give a shit, you know? Having Heat Soul plus Sinet Conflicts plus Super Vectorial is not beatable by 99% of decks, 99% of hands in every deck. Um, it's just insane. And if you have a have a game where you have co-linked Transcript Talker and Heat Soul, um, Pearly players want to cry, Rooney players want to cry, Cash Dier players want to cry. It's just insane. This card is, is crazy. Draw two in a deck that's playing 80% hand traps, you know. This is just crazy. And then the last guy. Axis Code. You know, we got it. We got it. I love Axis Code. He's my buddy. He's my pal. He's a good boy. <laughs> Uh, him along with my my good old little uh, test token, we love Axis Code. Axis Code is my boy. Okay, <laughs> he's, he's we know how he goes. Uh, last up, side deck. Um, pretty simple side deck actually. There's not much sauce in this. I normally play a pretty wicked side deck, um, but I simplified a lot today, and I think that was the name of the game that allowed me to, to you know get through. Um, we're playing three Nibiru. Uh, we'll, we'll keep him till the end. Uh, we're playing uh, three Droll and Lockbird. Um, just extra hand traps to uh, play through the format. Um, they just kind of win games against certain decks, and Mathmech is a deck where if you can skip your opponent's turn, you will win the game. 
that's what these do. I don't main them um, just because against a lot of decks right now, they're not really relevant. Pearly can play through Droll a lot of the time, definitely plays through Nib, and Cash plays through Nib and Droll a lot too, you know, especially with Shifter. Um, you know, it, it's, they're not really worth playing in the main, I don't think. I think you can play Nib, I think Droll, eh, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, going second cards, Recurred Kara. This card is cracked out of its mind, um, out of its gourd. Um, two Lightning Storm and one Duster. Um, Kurikara, I played once today, twice today. It won the game against Flu for me, and it won the game against, uh, I top decked it against a Pearly player in round six to win the game as well. Um, I'm so sorry, come on, if you're watching this. <laughs> uh, it was my top deck for turn, and I mean, it's just crazy. Like, being able to play six six Kurikara into a, into a metagame where You've got Noir running around, you've got Cash Jarabors running around, you've got, you know, anything else running around. You know, this card's just insane. Um, I decided to, I used to be running Thrust and a, and a Thrust package with the last three cards, which we'll reveal in a second. Um, but I decided to go for Lightning Storm and Duster because most of the time, if I was Dusting, um, I was using it for Duster. Uh, I think every time I used Thrust at Nats, it was for Duster um, or Raigeki, in which case, Raigeki, I'm using it for. Uh, BS and Lightning Storm does the same thing. So, um, it, you know, it, I figured why not just do this? I draw them, I don't have to worry about Droll, um, I don't have to worry about them activating something before I do things. It ended up working out really well. Um, Lightning Storm uh, only drew it once, but it was impactful the time I drew it. It forced out an activation on a Pearly spell, um, and I was able to, to curry Kara. Um, but I would, you know, I, I really like this side deck, um, it did really well for me. Um, last card in the side deck. This is the goo. I've been playing this. I've been on this since Nats. We got three chaos on it. This card is unreal. This card beats Runic. This card beats Kashkira. This card beats stupid decks that you don't even know about. This deck card beats Dragon Link, which is the worst matchup for this deck. Um, it just, I mean, almost every time I draw this card, I win again. Uh, I actually didn't really side it in today at all. <laughs> Um, the only time I played against a banished deck was uh, round eight um, against uh, against Kashira, and he had the perfect out for it. But uh, in like 99% of situations, this card just says win the game against any deck that, that banishes. Um, you know, you summon it on their summon of a rise heart, and they just look at you like, what are you, you know, um, and it's done. You know, you just do your combo. They can't do anything. They can't respond to any of your effects. And yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my math like deck. Uh, got first place. Yeah, got man. The trophy, got the sick deck box, got the sick net. Oh, look at that, man. Um, yeah. But. So you said you would take out the conflict stuff. Um, I think I think the conflicts would go in the side. I'd probably put in uh, probably one Curry Kara, and depending on how I'm feeling, either two Droll and two Nib. Um, maybe even put in an extra Book of Moon and take out one Nib in the extra, because I think it is a bit less impactful than Droll. Um, and play three Book of Moon in, in the main with one Karkara and like one Troll um, or one Nib for a small world. But honestly, I, I really liked how the deck played. Um, like I said, the conflict, it went crazy and didn't go crazy at the same time. There were plenty of games, like there were, there were probably, there were two game ones where I had this, I searched it, I had this card set, and they just kind of didn't do anything. Um, they, they, this card, shuts down a lot of decks right now because if you can like take away their their regular pearly activation if you can take away their i mean pearly or pearlily both of those just hate being hit by sonic conflict um the fact that it's a counter trap means that your super factorial will always go off um it's just a really card nice card to end on um and most people don't even realize that you can't activate it under sign uh like if you don't have a code talker on the field um which did come up in one of my pearly matches i'm pretty sure he could have just won the game had he realized that this doesn't, he, he could have activated his pearly. Um, but you know, it happens. We, we take this, you know? So, um, awesome. But yeah, that's well, pretty much it. Well, congratulations, man. Thank First you. place, thank Hollywood, you. Florida. Uh, awesome, man. Thank you so much for the profile. Hell yeah.